Okay, I, this is going to be another Walter Fent uh, demonstration. Um, the slide that they give on forced oscillations, I'm not really pleased with. I thought this gives a little better, um, a little better clue as to uh, what forced oscillations and resonance is. Uh, you can see that we have a spring constant of 10 newtons per meter, uh, a mass of one kilogram. Uh, there is an attenuation factor, uh, that's the damping factor. Um, the angular frequency right now is uh, two radians per second. Let's start it at one radian per second um, and look at the uh, amplitude uh, diagram. Uh, you, you have three radio buttons, elongation diagram, uh, amplitude diagram, and phase difference diagram. Uh, so let's start off with one, and uh, you'll see that the, uh, the little red dot above the spring is going back and forth uh, at one radian per second. And that almost looks like it's in slow motion, but you can see that it doesn't really activate the little blue mass of uh, uh, one kilogram. Uh, because it's not anywhere near resonance. If it were uh, near resonance, uh, it would it would really start to take off. But you can see that as it's not really uh, the the blue weight is just going in time with the uh, the little red uh, ball that's moving it up up and down. Now let's change. Let's reset it and let's change it to um, two. Um, and let's uh, start it. Okay, it moves a little bit up the slope, and you can see that it's going a little bit faster. It's going twice as fast, as a matter of fact. And the blue, uh, the blue weight is indeed going up and down with the uh, the red ball, but not quite in time with it. There's a little bit of uh, of difference. Okay, let's reset it. Let's go up to three. And start. Oh, we're a little higher up the uh, resonance curve, and now you can see that as the red uh, red dot goes up and down, the blue dot is really going uh, along with it. Let's look at some of these uh, different. Here's the elongation uh, diagram. Uh, in fact, let me reset it and start that over. Um, you can see how it the how it grows. It grows. We're nearing we're nearing resonance. So and so it's it starts to to really take off uh, because we're so near re resonance. But you can see that it flattens out. Um, so this is a forced oscillation near resonance, and you can see that it really does uh, uh, activate. Now you can see that it's starting to come down because it's not perfectly in res. It's not perfectly uh, in resonance, it's not going to uh, maintain a perfect, uh, well, it seems to be slowing down. I mean, it seems to be settling out. Uh, so it reach, reaches like an equilibrium point, or it varies just a little bit. Let's reset it, and let's put it at four, and let's First, let's look at the amplitude diagram, and let's start. Oh, you can see that we we overshot. We overshot the uh, the resonance. We're way on the other side of omega zero, and you can see that the the uh, the spring is struggling to as oscillate. We can look at the uh, elongation diagram, and you can see that it's it's really kind of going up and down. Uh, the the amplitude of the blue increases and decreases over time because we're not on resonance. Now, let's uh, reset this and put it, if you look here at the omega zero, it says 3.16 radians per second. So let's put it at 3.16 radians per second and see what happens. Um, okay, it starts to grow. And if we wait a little bit, it, it's growing so much that it, 
at some point it says resonance disaster simulate simulation no longer realistic in other words it it resonated so much that uh it it distorted the spring and it uh it's not able to keep up um and uh i want you to look up the tacoma narrows bridge tacoma just like the the toyota truck but this is in tacoma washington look up the tacoma narrows bridge and you can see a concrete bridge you may have seen this uh uh before the um the the con a concrete bridge that is oscillating it's oscillating because the wind caused a forced uh oscillation that was right at resonance and you can see the disastrous results so look up the tacoma narrows bridge um and i want you to just hand me a piece of paper or email me with a uh uh a link showing me that you looked at the Tacoma Narrows Bridge. Uh, I'd like you to see a video of it. It's an old, it's an old video, but there's plenty of example, there's plenty of examples of it around. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's go back to the the same residence and um, let's start. And you can see that we're right at the we're right at the peak of residence, three point one six, and you can see that it. Uh, it varies. Uh, and then uh, next assignment, I want you to, there's the resonance disaster again. Uh, let's just, for fun, just look at the phase, uh, the phase, uh, there's the phase diagram, uh, zero, pi over two, and pi. Um, don't worry about that. Uh, let's look at that and the elongation. Let's pause it before it gets a disaster. Um, so I encourage you to play with this, and you can see the different uh, the different resonance points. And with that, we'll stop this Walter Fent demonstration.